So you wanna switch your playlists from one music streaming service to another, and you don't wanna do it manually because like me, you have well over 2,000 songs in your playlist. Well, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm gonna show off a service called Soundiz, or Soundiz, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's Sound I I Z. And this is a service that lets you transfer your playlists and your favorites. Now, there is two versions to this. There's a free version and a paid version. I've actually tried the free version, but I'm about to try the paid version right now with you live as we do this together. The free version actually allows you to transfer a playlist one-to-one -one from one streaming service um, to another, whether you have Deezer to YouTube Music, like this example is showing, or Spotify to Apple Music, or what I'm trying to do, which is Spotify to YouTube Music, to get my playlists on my YouTube Music service as well. Now, the free version allows you to transfer up to 200 tracks. Anything more than that, you'll have to do the paid version. Now, the paid version, isn't actually that expensive. If you click on plans here, you'll see that the free version allows you to transfer up to 200 tracks for playlist. You can only sync one playlist at a time, but the monthly version, which is what I'm doing, you pay $4.50 per month or $3 per month if you pay for it annually. You transfer your music and data at one time and you can keep your playlists synced. So whenever you make a change to like a Spotify playlist, it'll sync it to your Apple Music playlist or your YouTube Music playlist if you have multiple playlists. And then there's a creator tier as well that gives you a couple more features, but we won't be focusing on that one. We're gonna be focusing on this premium tier that you pay $4.50 per month for or $3 per month if you pay annually. I'm doing the monthly one because I just want to transfer my playlist and then be done. I don't think I'll need the service again, but it's nice to know that it's there in case you need it in the future. And it even says it right here. It says, do you need a one-time transfer? You can subscribe to a monthly sound use plan and then cancel it. You can keep using the paid features until your month is over. So they're totally fine with you signing up for one month, using the service for everything that you need and then canceling. They talk about it right there on their website. So let's get to it. We're gonna go right here and I'm gonna show you my playlists right here. So these are my Spotify playlists uh, right here. And the one that I really wanna transfer, the one that I wanna focus on is my favorites playlist. This is a playlist that I've been curating since 2010 when I first signed up for Spotify that has over 2,000 tracks, 2,293 tracks. Anytime I hear something that I like, I add it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to hit transfer right here. And I'm going to select my source. I'm gonna hit Spotify and I'm gonna select my destination, YouTube Music. Now I've already synced them, but if you haven't synced them, it'll ask you to log into these services to get access to them. Then you hit start. So I'm gonna hit playlists right here and it's gonna transfer all 12 of my playlists. Now I just want my favorites, but you know what? It might as well do all of them. I mean, why not? So we're gonna go ahead and hit confirm and continue and confirm my selection and it's going to transfer 12 playlists now it says we're not deleting any data on the source service while doing the transfer process be aware that we can only do a matching process these elements must already exist in the destination catalog i'm going to hit begin the transfer and it's going to create the batch the batch has been created and i just want to show the progress and as you can see right now my favorites playlist which is the one that i'm really focused on is currently in progress this is the one that i really curious about now one thing i do want to show you is i actually did like i said the free version already and the free version allowed me to transfer that favorites playlist but only 200 songs and just to show you that it actually worked here is that favorites playlist in youtube music I don't know if you can see that in the glare right there, but it's transferred over 180 of my tracks. Some of the tracks for some reason it couldn't find, but 183 tracks did get transferred. So it does work, right? At least the free version does work. So now we're gonna try this in progress one. But another thing that I wanted to show you guys was this thing called Generate AI. Uh, I haven't tried this yet, so we're gonna do this together. So I'm gonna hit Generate AI. And this actually creates a personalized music list with AI powered music generation tool. So I wanna to create a 25 track playlist. And there's a query mode, which you can say you want energetic music for an intense workout session. Uh, but I'm gonna do the tags mode and I'm gonna try uh, some different genres here. So I like rock music. Uh, I like some screamo, punk, post-punk. I want some pop in there. I do like my pop music. I'm unapologetic about that. As far as moods go, I'm thinking like a workout playlist. So we'll do workout, passionate, motivational. We'll do happy, intense, energetic, angry. And then I'll scroll down here and you can even add decades. So I'm gonna do 2020s, 2010s, and 2000s. And I'm gonna generate my list and see what happens. I'm gonna hit generate. 
and it is generating this playlist. That was pretty fast. Let's see what it came up with. All right, so Good Charlotte's The Anthem, All American Rejects, Dirty Little Secret, Can't Stop by The Chili Peppers, I Hate Everything About You, Three Days Grace. This is actually pretty good. Import playlist. All right, I'm gonna say confirm. Create a new playlist. Save configuration. We're gonna do that to YouTube Music. So you can see here that it's transferring the second song, the third song, the fourth song, and it's gonna take about two minutes to do this. Now here's an issue that I find interesting. So it completed my playlist, but it found 12 errors. And with, when I click on those 12 errors, it says that Anthem by Good Charlotte, Can't Stop, The Middle, In Too Deep, I Write Sins Not Tragedies, all of these songs were not found. Now, I'm not sure if that means it was not found in YouTube Music or if it was not found in Spotify or if they just couldn't find it, but it's not there. If I go here to YouTube Music and I click on playlists, I have a playlist called AI Workout Playlist. It has 13 tracks on there because it didn't do all 25. Remember, it lost about 13 of them or something like that. But here's that playlist, right? So it did put it together for me, which is pretty nice, but it is annoying that it couldn't do all of the tracks. So to be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure why that happens. That's the second time that it's happened to me where like it couldn't find it. And I'm not sure if it couldn't find it for YouTube Music or if it couldn't find it for Spotify. Now let's try another version. We'll do the same thing. It's gonna generate, I'm gonna say 20 tracks. So we're going to import this playlist again. We're going to confirm this playlist. And this time we're going to create a new playlist. We're gonna save the configuration. This time I'm gonna transfer it to Spotify. I'm gonna see if it makes any difference if I transfer it to Spotify. Now it's way faster in Spotify. Look at this, it's breezing through those 20 tracks as opposed to YouTube Music. This is interesting. The conversion success was successful in Spotify. And now if I go into Spotify and I go to my library, here's AI Playlist 2 right there. And there's 20 tracks an hour and 12 minutes, and there's all of them right there. So that worked. Okay, some time has passed. It is a few hours later, and it looks like the majority of the playlists, in fact, all of my playlists, did successfully transfer from Spotify to YouTube Music using Soundies. So after a lot of trial and error with Soundies, it seems that my YouTube playlist has maxed out at 2,105 tracks, which is still short of the amount of songs that I have in Spotify. Also, what I noticed is that some of the songs are not the actual songs. They're cover versions or alternate versions of the original songs that I wanted in Spotify. Still a pretty cool service that got me a lot of my tracks, but not perfect. I think for $5 for a one-time payment of $4.50, if you want to transfer your content over from one playlist to another and you don't want to manually do it, Soundies or Soundiz, I apologize if I'm saying it incorrectly, is a really cool choice. I love the interface. It's really easy to use. The uh, AI generated playlist was a very cool experience just putting in well, what kind of songs I want, what mood I want them to be, genre, even what decade I want them to be from, and for it to curate it together into a pretty decent playlist that I would definitely listen to. I think Soundies is great. And if you wanna check them out, I'll leave a link in the description box below of how you can try them out. Again, there is a free version that lets you transfer singular playlists from one to one up to 200 tracks, totally for free. Or if you need to do something a little beefier, like the playlist that I have with 2000 plus songs, then you can try paying just one month for $4.50, or you can do the annual plan as well and save some money there. And if you like this video, you might like my suggestions on the best streaming services out there. I'll put it somewhere around here. Thanks for watching. Take care.